These are sun catchers or stained glass ornaments from Make It and Bake It. They're actually kits that you could buy in the 80s and make your own sun, ca sun catchers. Uh, basically what it involves is there's a metal frame here. All the lines here are metal. And you would drop little pellets of plastic into each little section here and put it in the oven and melt it so that it would all melt together, become kind of a translucent plastic and look more or less like stained glass. It looks, I think, really cool. Um, I made these particular ones, I don't know, 10 or 12 years ago as part of my, uh, I guess, adult Java collection. Uh, but I, I have done ones like this as a kid. Not, I don't think I ever did the Star Wars ones, but I do recall making a sort of choir boy Christmas ornament and that kind of thing. So I do have fond memories of making this kind of kit. I have a couple of these new in the package as well. This is, of course, Jabba, and there's the top of the packaging. You can see the other ones that they had at the time. Gamorrean Guard, R2-D2, Jabba, and Darth Vader. It comes with these little packets of pellets, a suction cup so you could put it up on a window, and then the metal frame. And you can see on the back, it's got some instructions, and then it tells you how to color all of them, you know, which which pellets to put where. Kind of like a paint by number kind of thing. Uh, I got these together as a lot, and I was thinking, I didn't have the Jabba Suncatcher in the package, so I kind of wanted that. And the other one kind of came with it. I didn't have the R2, so I was happy to get that as well. But when I got it, I noticed that R2 is kind of breaking out of the package. You can see here, uh, well, you know, these bubbles are pretty brittle at this point. Uh, there's also on the bottom, it's starting to come open. So I thought, well, what the heck? Why don't I just actually do this one uh, as part of a video? I can actually put it together. And then, of course, I'll keep this one so I'll have an in-package example. So I guess we're going to go ahead and open this sucker up. Uh, feels a little bit wrong, but it's barely hanging on to the package at the moment anyway, he says as he struggles to open it. There we go. So there is the actual metal frame. That's pretty cool. It has some heft to it. And then if we open up the rest, you can see that they've given us, looks like white, blue, black, red, and I'm not sure if there's two different kinds of white or what, but there's two packets of a white looking pellet. So anyway, the idea is, as I say, to, <laughs> if we can get this one out of the baggage, come on you. There we are. Yeah, I don't know if these are different. They don't look different, but possibly they are. This one seems to be a bit smaller in terms of its granule size, but I don't know. Um, what I'm going to do is get a uh, cookie sheet, baking sheet, put some aluminum foil on it, and then we'll carefully put all of these little pellets inside here and put it in the oven. We'll see how it turns out. So just to quickly go over the instructions here, you're supposed to preheat the oven to 375, cover a cookie sheet with smooth aluminum foil, place the frame flat side down, use a teaspoon to fill each section with the specific specified color, heaping full in the center and level at metal edges. Complete the fi uh, filling process by using tweezers. I've found, I remember when I made those other ones, that tweezers are very important because you might get one of the wrong color in one area and it's very hard to get it out without some tweezers. Leave hanger ho hole empty. The plastic will shrink slightly and flow into the corners as it melts. So you put it in the oven for 15 to 25 minutes and uh, take it out when they've melted to a smooth glass-like appearance. It says, note, white crystals should remain opaque. Hmm. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Let's uh, give that a shot. All right, I've got a baking sheet covered in tin foil, well, aluminum foil, and my plastic pellets, and here's the frame for R2-D2. What we have to do is open these up, put the pellets in the appropriate places, according to this thing on the packaging that tells you which color goes where. Got a little 
key up here, you see. And then we'll just take it and bake it in the oven. And I think, because it might be difficult to get the spare pellets off of this sheet once I'm done, I'm gonna put uh, the pellets first on this lovely Jabba uh, plate from Corel. It says, bring me Solo and the Wookiee. That way I can easily just move them out of the way once we're finished. So let's give this a shot. Oh, also, I have my trusty needle nose tweezers to help me out. You get the point. I'm gonna do a little bit more cleaning up, getting rid of some stray pellets where they're not supposed to be, like here. But this is pretty much the way it's gonna look. And we're just gonna take this to the oven and bake it. I did have a couple minor problems doing this. One was that in order to get this video, I had to leave the oven door open a crack, which kind of messed up the temperature. It took a long time to get up to the temperature where the beads would melt. But beyond that, I also found that I didn't put enough of the plastic in there and I had to uh, take it out and put more in because I had places, several places, where there were holes. And here's the finished product. And I think it looks really good, actually. I uh, had to put extra pellets in to fill in some places where there were holes that developed once it had melted. Uh, but I was able to fix it without too much trouble and you can't really even tell that I did that, so that's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like when it's illuminated from behind. All right, I've got a little LED panel just below it here. Maybe give you a little bit better idea of what it looks like with light coming through it. Pretty cool. This uh, part that I said was black is actually a smoky gray, and even the opaque white parts are slightly translucent, so looks pretty cool. Here we have the Gamorrean Guard from earlier. And also, of course, the Jabba. So, uh, I think this is a pretty cool little project to do. I don't know if uh, these kind of things are still available. Maybe they determined that melting plastic in this way wasn't so great for you. Who knows? But, uh, you know, I feel like doing it once or twice in your childhood is probably not going to kill you. So, uh, anyway, it's a fun little project. And thanks very much for watching, and have a great Star Wars day. May the 4th be with you. This video was brought to you with the help of my patrons from Patreon, especially these palace VIPs right here. I really appreciate your help, especially Angelica Brady. And if you'd like to know how you could help support the channel for as little as $1 a month, you can click the link in the video description.